Get fucked, not you again. You know, I have a good mind to stick my bare fist right up your cunt. So I love movement as much as the next feminist. I moved when I flew in to work on my broomstick this morning. I support a totally bitching social, political and economical movement called feminism. And I totally have awesome bowel movements when I take a big fat shit. So most gamers can appreciate what it actually takes to create movement in a 3D environment. But not me. I just pretend to play video games and look at the butts. You're right. I bet you have no concept of what components are involved in creating movement. All the rigging, animating and keyframing, particle effects, hair and cloth effects, light movement in shadows and reflections, camera movement, and those who program control panels for facial expressions and code the animations to respond to the buttons that your unworthy fingers press to create the very movement that you're about to bitch about. Wrecked. So movements tell us a lot about the character in the game. Even shit like walking and sitting down can be sexist towards women. Oh, here we go. Blah 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 blah, gender stereotypes. Let's look at how games reinforce this, but only towards women, cause you know, like victim status, men, privilege, patriarchy. Destroy! I knew it! You're a fucking fembot! Sent from the future to destroy fun and art. The Terminator. Hey, hey. Lol. Now I'm sure that there was some really cool shit about the game Destiny, but let's talk about the fact that you can choose from 9 different skin tones. Yay! This shit's just mad because we all know that playing a character of another race is totally racist, yo. Oh no 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 no. You're not claiming this one as a victory for SJW's bitch. The fact that this feature is available is great, but I'm not going to have a hissy fit because I can't play the game as a she-bear, which is totally the race I identify as. So firstly, we're like totally stoked that the females' costumes are like the men's and not sexualized. But believe it or not, we still found something to bitch about, cause you know, feminism. I believe it. So you'll notice that the animators were like totally sexist when creating the movements to depict male and female characters. When the male character sits down after fighting um, uh, whoever the bad guys are in this game, you can clearly see he sits down with confidence and spreads his devil legs apart, committing the patriarchal offence of manspreading. But when the woman sits down, she sits down like a delicate flower, closing her legs, keeping her cunt from view. We would like to see a female character sit down like the man, unashamed of her femininity, with her box on full display, but still reserve the right to complain that the male game designers are sexist pigs who promote pornographic depictions of women, which create gender stereotypes and reinforce rape culture. Where do you pull this garbage from? You'll never be happy. Never. You're like a croissant turning into a female dog. Bread to bitch. I got a fucking picture up of Rayman now. And I'm talking about animation and movement like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I totally do. You see, we get all our facts triple checked. No you don't. 
See, what I really dislike about you is the way you reduce an art that I love and dedicated three years of my life to studying, down to propaganda to push your feminist agenda. Learn the brilliant vision it takes to create an organic model as complex as the human form in a three-dimensional program. Or how to extrude lines and shapes and morph polygons into rigid models, then how to add edges and detail to create something that looks organic, and all the while trying to reduce the amount of polygons on your model for more efficient rendering speed and gameplay. So you'll totally notice that male characters are designed to move like men, which just totally triggers me, while women are designed to shake their hips when they walk, which is purely catered for the cis male to wank over. It's so not because the female pelvis is flatter, more rounded and proportionally larger to assist in childbirth, or that the sacrum is also shorter, wider and projected more posteriorly for similar reasons, and it's in no way due to the female waist-hip ratio which contributes to hip sway when walking in order to balance the weight. Ah, you forgot one. Maybe it's just because the designer wanted her to look sexy while walking. To most, Sexy is beautiful, but to you feminists, sexy is a socially constructed device implemented by patriarchy to confuse and oppress women. Look at Catwoman. She's been animated to walk with an over-exaggerated sway, which is just like, totally offensive. And look at her clothing and the camera angles that capture her perfect rack, which I'm actually just really jealous of. The camera angles given are intentionally designed so that you can only focus on her highly sexualized butt. 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 Not on gameplay when you're trying to fight or, you know, uh, just do anything required to play the game. You see butts? I see all the talent that has gone into lighting, stunning environment design, beautiful stylized texturing, detailed modeling, rigging, animating, programming, and just how long it must have taken a large team of professionals to create a game like this for you to reduce into an arse exhibit. And the arse is pretty hot, you have to admit. In Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Evie Fry isn't sexualized at all. In fact, she moves much like the male character. And even though they put a huge ass fucking trench coat on her to cover her ass, you'll notice that she still moves with a slight sway. Stop! Please! I've had a hard day cleaning up after bearing and ironing and shit. My bitch paw is strong, and I'm going to straight rock you in the nose to straighten that shit out. In Saints Row the Third, you can get a sex change operation, which is totally cool because all games should have this feature to promote equality in gaming. But even after the change, you start to walk with a hip sway as a woman, because a dude willing to chop off his dick to become a woman is not going to want to have any interest in walking with a sway to accentuate femininity. There is no pleasing you. There never will be. Fuck off. Men are allowed to walk like regular human beings, while motion-captured walks of women are overly sexualized. Okay, I'm going to lose my shit at you if you keep this up. So I'm going to assume that you put that ridiculous amount of money into something and learnt the process of motion capture. Sensors are strategically placed on an actor's body, which relay information of movement into a 3D program. So a fucking female was walking like this in real life. That's your fucking hips way, you idiot. And even if she was instructed to walk with an over-exaggerated sway, who gives a fuck? Really? Really? And like, have you noticed how these bitches are wearing high heels? Like, why are heels necessary in combat games? Oh god, a lot of them aren't, idiot. It's how certain games are stylized. There are plenty of pussy games for you to go and play. Fuck off and go play solitaire. Or will the queen card's boobs offend you? So the camera angles are always focusing on the women's butts, highly sexualized butt, highly sexualized butt, highly sexualized butts, and torso region, so that the player can view tits and cunt through the male gaze. You know, I bet a lot of lesbians can probably relate to the male gaze. The male gaze reinforces the notion that men look and that women are there to be looked at, never the other way around. You are so wrong, bitch. 
Look, look. Dumb cow. Blah blah blah. Some shit about media influencing gender dynamics and culture. Cause people are too stupid to think for themselves. Just slaves to their sexual organs. Blah blah blah. Women can internalize the male gaze too, which is totally fine. Cause it's women doing it, and women are victims. Blah blah blah. Games that make women move like women are damaging to stereotypes of women and some bullshit like that. Women. Oh fuck you! I'm not even trying anymore. Now you're gonna say, but Terminator, what about games where male fighters are shown with no tops on? Well, it doesn't count, fuckface, 'cause the men's muscles signify power and strength. Their sexy chests don't make my minge twinge because it's death down there, and that means they haven't been designed erotically. I'll bet it looks like that scene with the spider and Frodo in Lord of the Rings in that minge. Cobwebs for days. And now, in true feminist behaviour, after talking about women being oppressed for ninety-five percent of this video, I'm going to strategically bring up that these gender stereotypes oppress men as well, to make me look like a bitch that gives a fuck about men's rights. I want this to be the last thing you remember about watching this video. Hey, she mentioned men's rights as well. Feminism totally does hold men's rights to the same value as women's. I'm really glad I got to point all of this out. I really like pointing things out. Pointing out things makes me really horny, except when it's dicks pointing out. That's just rape culture. Thanks for watching me, the Terminator. Make sure you agree with me or else, and be sure to visit our web page to donate a fuckload of money, which will help us create something to which Sugar Tits has clearly made within a couple of days, with nothing more than a totally sexy rocking mind and free resources and a fifty dollar subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud. See ya. Damn right, I made this video in two days. You're a disgrace. You see. My studies at uni actually taught me something real and of value. What the hell has all that donated money taught you? How to shit on the work of trained professionals and artists, and how to tell people they have no right to enjoy video games the way they love them. You know nothing.